absolutely remarkable. The guy is shredded. He could literally enter a competition in one week. He can follow peak week, get on stage, and win the majority of his men's physique competitions. Coach Greg, and in today's video, we're going to be going over Jonathan Mayer's intense training program as he prepares for his upcoming role in Creed. Not only that, we're going to answer the question, is the guy natural or is he not natty? Let me start off by pointing out this guy has an amazing work ethic. He's always trained, always looked incredible, even before starring this latest role. Guy had an amazing physique, but... Does that mean the guy did it natural? And so let's start off by looking at his workouts. Is he training hard? Does he know what he's doing? Or is it some fluff BS Hollywood workout? Training and working out are very important to me. I try to challenge myself uh, to get to a place to express things. And so he begins his workout as I do by doing a cardiovascular warmup on the bike. He wants to properly warm up to prevent injuries. And remember, he doesn't just do cardio to prepare for his workout. He's also getting up at 4 a.m. to go for jogs, and the guy is training to box. Think of it. He's playing the role of Creed. He has to look like a boxer. And so for a year plus, the guy has been boxing harder than last time, learning the ropes, the moves. And so he's been running a lot, doing a lot of cardio, all while trying to build muscle. And he's done so in a calorie deficit. He's not bulking up. He never got fat. He never ate in a surplus of calories and then cut later on. The guy was pretty lean to start and simply got leaner while adding muscle. Still, the past year of preparation has tested the limits of his mind and body. I've always been athletic, but these are body roles where the body is part of the given circumstances, he says. There's levels to this shit. And so it reminds me of the USC. I always say there's levels. And so, yes, he had an amazing physique, looked incredible, was training hard, was highly dedicated. But for his latest roles to play Kang and Creed and Magazine Dreams, the guy had to level up. He had to go from being an amazing athlete, a specimen, to, well, leveling up. Whatever it takes to establish that trust, measures will do. And over the past year, and I'm going to the glasses to show I'm not making this up, I'm going to read it. He's packed on 10 pounds of muscle to play Kang, an extra five for Creed, that 15, and six more for Magazine Dreams. That's 21 pounds of muscle in the last year. And he's whittled his way down to 5% body fat to look unbelievably ripped. And as I examine his physique in this Men's Health workout video, I don't think the guy is actually 5%. I give him closer to 7. Upper body is absolutely shredded, but the legs are just not quite as lean as his upper body. People store fat differently, and for him, he cares a little bit more in the legs. Also, how do we actually know it was 21 pounds of muscle? After all, if they're saying he's 5% body fat, if he's actually 7, perhaps he only gained 17 pounds of muscle. But it's certainly a ton of muscle for a guy who did not have newbie gains. It's not like he'd never worked out in his entire life. The guy trained for football, track, all kinds of sports. The guy is an athlete, worked out his entire life. And so it's not like he had tons of gains left in the tank. So the way we train, Jonathan, we split our muscle groups. We normally do conventionally two muscle groups together. It's very intense, very productive, very fun. How does he work out? Well, he does two body parts every other day. And so he only trains each muscle approximately once a week, not nearly as often as he should to maximize muscle hypertrophy. And his sets are essentially super sets all the time, back to back, not allowing a lot of rest. And so very intense workouts, but not taking up a lot of time. Certainly not optimal for working out, but considering that the guy has to do a lot of running, a lot of cardio, a lot of boxing training, and has a full schedule of acting in several major roles, this is probably all the guy has to do. He has a personal trainer who tells him what to do, pushes him harder in the gym, and so the guy knows what he's doing when it comes to working out. We normally do three supersets consisting of 10 to 12 reps. And so when doing a superset, you're going from one machine to the next without any rest. That's a superset. And so he's doing the serratus anterior, primarily the bear claw muscle in front of the body. Great exercise, highly recommend you do it. And so he begins with that, does 10 to 12 reps and runs over to another exercise with very little rest. But sometimes I might say 10 more 
then Jay, because of his mindset, will do another 20. And so this, this part, it scares me. He says, sometimes I'll tell him to do 10 reps more and he'll sometimes do 20. Now listen, if you're training for muscle hypertrophy, you should at least be training within one to three reps of failure. And if you have 10 reps left in the tank, that is called a warm up set. And so just because you think you're training hard, if your trainer says do 10 more and you can, that is proof you're not training hard enough now, is it? And so as you can see, he doesn't leave the tarp on. He's not trying to stay warm the entire time. Kai Green has a sweater on throughout his entire workout. He's sweating right through it. To me, this is a bad idea. You need to stay cool in order to maximize the training intensity during a workout. Now, I'm not saying you all have to take off your tarps as Jesse James would do, tarps off for the boys, but you should in fact make sure you're cool. This exercise is for extreme detail conditioning. And technically no, this exercise as no exercise is, is not for extreme detail and conditioning. That comes with low body fat levels. And so technically extreme definition in detail, that comes from a calorie deficit and or doing cardio. The more calories you burn off, the more of a deficit you're in, the leaner you're going to be, and the more condition your body will appear. Completed our movement here. Now we're gonna go straight to pull-ups, which will give him his size, his thickness, and his depth, and his lats, his big back. Here we go. Ooh. And so he immediately goes from this exercise to doing straight arm pull-ups. And let me tell you, for most people, probably not strong enough to do this. It's better to do the hard exercise first, the close grip pull-ups, and then follow it up with the straight arm pull-down. But this guy, highly athletic, he has no trouble performing 10 to 12 reps. And hang at the bottom, hold, exhale, we're going into 10 leg raises. This is very intense. And so technically, my opinion is this is a giant set. He's actually doing three exercises back to back to back. The serratus exercise followed by the straight arm chin ups and then the leg raise. That's a giant set. That is very difficult. And check out this guy's physique. The abdominals, the obliques, absolutely amazing. Completely shredded at this point. Next up, he's going to be performing one arm rows followed by shrugs. And he's using excellent technique. He's going slower on the eccentric and faster on the concentric. He explodes up, uses a lot of power, and then controls the weight on the way down. And so let's see a most muscular. Let's assume this guy is an actor and he's about to compete in a men's physique bodybuilding competition. What do you think of this physique? Absolutely remarkable. The guy is shredded. He could literally enter a competition in one week. He can follow peak week, get on stage, and win the majority of his men's physique competitions. And that's down to the intensity and how hard he trains, his work ethic. But remember, this guy, he doesn't have amazing legs. We're not seeing his quads, and he is fully pumped up under great lighting. And so it's time to answer the question, is this guy natural or is he enhanced? Well, let me start off by saying it's possible to develop this physique as a natural. And so if I'm saying he's natural or not, you can't say, oh, well, I know one person that's even bigger than that who's natural, and so he must be natural. Given the fact that he's doing this while running and doing boxing training and working a full schedule makes it that much harder. Imagine having to be this lean year round. You all know that when you diet down to extremely low body fat levels, it can crush your natural testosterone production. If that happens, much harder to hold and build muscle. But this guy, he was able to build a substantial amount of muscle, perhaps not 21 pounds, but certainly a lot of muscle while on a cut, while in a deficit. And so I'm certain all of you out there who believe that you need to pack on muscle while bulking going to say, no way is this guy natural. But it is certainly possible to build muscle while in a deficit. Although in this case, I do believe the guy is not natty. Not saying he's blasting test and trend, abusing PEDs, but the last time I checked, there's no drug testing or rules that say that actors are not allowed to go on HRT. And so considering that he's being paid millions of dollars to look this way, and the guy, he's supremely dedicated, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to be the best actor that I could be. And I do believe that means doing what it takes to look the part. The body, the physique of a boxer, as well as Kang, a Marvel's character? Think of it. Do you really think he would be natural? I mean, it's certainly possible. I'm not saying it's impossible to get this physique while natural. 
But 99% of people could not do it. And given the circumstances, I do believe there's more chance that he's not natural than he is enhanced. And if he is in fact natural, well, props to him. The guy has amazing genetics and dedication. But if you're thinking, well, if he did it natural, then certainly I should be able to, that is not true. 99% of people could train their entire life, 10 years properly, eating exactly as you should, and not develop a physique to this extent. And if you are struggling with low testosterone levels, you've been crash dieting, you have single digit body fat, you don't know what to do, I'd suggest you eat more, but you could also, of course, try G-test or 3-test. Also, if you're looking for a fat burner to help you get more energy, perhaps suppress your appetite, you could consider using G-Shred. That can certainly help. Of course, all the various pre-workouts before going to the gym. And this one in particular, GO2 Max. If you're doing cardio, going for runs, training for boxing, and you want enhanced endurance, give GO2 Max a try. It's absolutely amazing for increasing your cardiovascular endurance, which also helps you to burn more calories, which will allow you to burn more fat. Let me know in the comment section. You think the guy's natural? What do you think of his physique? Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Remember to get any of these supplements or cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the Circle Die book, use code GREG to get 10% off. Click the link in the description, visit hgltsubs.com. Don't forget to watch at least one of these two bloops. Watch one now, leave a comment, helps with the algo. And until next time, I am out.